Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to another build episode here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And uh, we're back here with the Knuckle Dragger. I know it's been a little bit, but we're back. We're back. Knuckle Dragger is going to get some more work done. I haven't forgot about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you didn't see the last time I did a video, I did with that uh, microcontroller released with the waypoint direction pointer for your screen. Um, I'm still debating about whether to put it in here or not, but, uh, it's not an impossibility. But that will be at a later time, because there is an issue I gotta take care of with the, uh, with the screens on the front. However, for today, there's a feature I've been waiting to, uh, install in this, and, uh, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can tackle it now. And what that is, is, uh, we're gonna do something to the front here. And I'm really hoping it comes out right. <laughs> I am really worried about it. All right. So, without further ado, hope you enjoy what you watch. Hope you like what you see. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Helps out the channel immensely. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so, without... We're going to be working on this front end a bit. Now, I have an idea for a specific feature I wanted to add. Now, one of the things I wanted to add to this uh, was a f way to load the vehicle from the front. So you have the major cargo door in the back, but you also have a minor one that's not meant for, like, the big stuff. It's meant for small things, but I want it a nice wide opening. So we're going to be trying to work on that now. Uh, that's going to require us to first split off this front end. Uh, I got to see. Oh, okay. I can't go that high. I think I can do to here. So we'll do it from there down to, uh, oh, here. Uh, should that, yeah, that should be everything. So let's cut this. Oh, wait. Got to get the front. Okay. Now, the reason why I didn't get that bit is that's the floor to that, and we will be cutting that separate. So we're just going to bring this forward for now. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. I guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As 
I got a design in. It wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be in the first place, but you know what? It is what it is. So what now we're going to do is create a uh, controls for it. So uh, let's bring out a throttle. It's like, haven't you created and deleted that throttle a number of times? Yes, yes, I have. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna grab this and we're just gonna hook it to there, 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 and there. Oh, hold on. One more thing I gotta set up. One more thing. Threshold. And a knot. At there. Take this, put it there. And we're going to put this in low threshold of point zero zero one. I threshold of 1.001 so basically if it's between any of those values it's gonna open it's gonna unlock because I added those grippers to act as a lock for the clamshell so <laughs> looks kind of creepy with its current look but it's working, right? Right. Now, I, I, I did the... Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> I need to... Okay, I need to... I need to make those doors look better. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, now that looks way better with... Uh with actual detailing well I know it's not exactly detailing but at least it looks a lot better than just all the jaggies that was going on a moment ago but yeah so now the idea is I want to be able to be able to load stuff into the front section here as well that's why I wasn't really necessarily about keeping this area open 
So now we have this entire area to work with. I'm actually kind of thinking I might have made the clamshell doors a little bit too big. I'm kind of thinking of making them smaller. Maybe not open them as far. I mean, that definitely would be good enough to at least get the job done. All right, let's decorate the interior a little bit and see how it looks. Okay, yeah, giving that some color is definitely improving its outlook. I would like... Oh, it makes me really want to do more with this interior's color. I don't even know if it's really the color as much as the decor. I think uh, I definitely need to go through here with the decorating pass. Now, uh, now, what was the purpose of the stuff I'm going to put in here? You know what? I'm not liking the clamshells. No, I'm not liking the clamshell, actually. But... Yeah, I think they're just too big. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to take the uh take it back to drawing board. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. This is more what I wanted. I wanted something you could put smaller, like smaller, but still sizable stuff through. I wasn't looking for that massive gaping maw. It was cool that I got it to work, though. I also don't need those now. Okay, did we clean it up properly? Okay, that is cleaned up nicely. It's not too obtrusive. Now, we've got to make some sort of ramp as well now. And since... Let's go back to about right here. right there area now cut paste and then we're going to delete there and there. Get the robotic pivot once again. Put those there. Door. Uh, 
that there. This will actually go to there, and then this will go to here and here. And something low. Let's start with 0.3. All right, how about... Four. Uh, it works. I mean, we're getting up and down easily. I know what this needs. I know what this needs. All right. Uh, I definitely would like to grab this and we will put this here. that there marked out you know don't cross this line type of deal and let's mark out that actually no. we'll do that Now, we're also going to need secure points. Because the stuff that I was looking at, uh, to carry, I'm going to need a lot of tie down points. So I'm thinking We're looking at that, and then along the sides here, because I should have free reign to do quite a bit along here. And then I kind of want to go... that And finally, I do want to add a 
a winch here and a winch here. Their sole purpose is for basically helping to get uh, stuff out in and out of the front end. Actually, one other place I could probably put one is right here. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Should be something like, yeah, we need to just copy uh, these right here. However, I need to get rid of the indicator. Uh, none. Bring it over. Bring this one to here. Now let's just give it a quick test. Okay. So I made a sample package, something I, you know, about the size of what I expect to go in here. And we'll grab this, put it to there. That works. We'll take that, right? It works! That's out, and then I can close this. All right, I am thoroughly happy with that. I knew I was always wanting to do something along this lines of having something that can come in through the door front. It was just my original clamshell was just definitely a bit too big. So. Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave it off at. We got the, uh... I got the, my front loading door installed. We got a few winches installed as well. They are not connected with the radio, however. They will be manually operated, and they will help pull stuff in. And that's, and help pull it out as necessary. So, and even did a little uh, paint the scheming. We got some hard anchor points put in for tying stuff down. Uh, I think I'm going to have to come through with a probably with a decoration uh, run and do something because it feels feels like stuff it like stuff's just missing in here and I just don't know what so I mean functionally the vehicle's pretty much mostly done other than just going up test runs and make sure everything's cleared out but uh, 
and fine tuning stuff. I still need to work on finishing up the fueling system. I know I have something that works in here, but it's not complete yet. Uh, so yeah, and we still got the electrical to still do. So that's the last thing. Batteries are like the, the battery and the power is like the last big system we gotta get installed. So, uh, and oh, lights. Yes, lighting. So lighting, electrical, and probably a decoration run. And then I think for the most part, it is done. Like I gotta clean up in here, uh, clean some of this stuff up in general. And yeah, so anyways, hope you enjoyed what you watch. Hope you like what you saw. You know the deal, you know the spiel. This is Arcades signing out. Have yourself a good day. Whee!